Hi, who are you, Paul? Um, hi, I'm Paul Clifford. I'm the Digital Learning Programs Manager at Museum of London, um, as well being a uh, avid maker, experimenter, um, and I love finding out about alternative learning formats. Okay, and uh, do you have a favourite? Which? How do you learn yourself? Um, that's a really good question. Um, I learn best by doing, by making, but it depends on what I'm learning. For example, I've noticed that there are particular things where reading is really the best way that I can consume the information. Um, there are other instances where perhaps um, doing, um, I think of myself as a visual learner, but actually, um, if I test myself, I'm, I'm probably all three. Um, which is interesting because I think of myself as being kind of visual and kinesthetic but actually um, I'm all of them and it depends on what you're doing and what you're learning about yeah okay so which way do you think museums should m move forward in in what direction or do you are we on the right track or mm, I think we are on the right track I think in my opinion and this is my opinion um, we should move um, try and move away from um, formal learning um, it's no pub quiz learning <laughs> yeah it's difficult because we um, do so much for um, the curriculum in schools and the more children that we get in the more money that we get from central government so that's always a, a kind of problem hopefully though as years move on and the curriculum becomes less rigid more open then we'll be able to offer perhaps more um, open more participatory um, and uh, more um, interactive uh, workshops um, that are more about the learners than about the institution or the curriculum which it sometimes is now. So what's the biggest challenge? Is it money? Staff? <laughs> I think there are three major problems. One is economic and um, funding models. Um, I think um, the second is political. Is There needs to be a willingness to change things, um, I suppose, quite radically. Radical is probably the wrong word but um, to try and do things differently and to accept that this kind of um, Victorian model we're using at the moment is just not what we need in the 21st century. Um, the third thing is social policy. Um, is about um, how children learn, in what kind of formats they learn, and is the kind of school system that we have now really up to the job? And, and should there be a, a big change in the way that people learn? Um, for example, at MOOCs, um, online courses are offered by a kind of a whole plethora of different um, organisations, um, small groups, um, perhaps collected around libraries, and more and more schools using kind of creative curriculums um, to do things, especially in the United States. Um, and some of the changes that you see in Sweden, mm. a lot of the changes are ones that we would love um, that the UK government um, and that people would adopt in in our country. So we very much look to Sweden um, because it's progressive um, for ideas, which is why I love coming here because I always go away with more ideas than I come with. It's nice to hear. And last question, which is your favourite museum? My, um, my favourite museum, one I'm, I'm liking at the moment, and it does change, is Design Museum London. Um, however, I'd love to go and see um, Tom Tit Experiment. Um, I've read about it so much, I just don't think I'm going to have time to get here this time, but I'm actually going to make time, come over and just do that. You have some fantastic, the Design Museum, um, Gothenburg, um, is great as well, really enjoyed there. Um, and I suppose it depends on kind of how I'm feeling, the particular parts, I like parts of lots of museums. So it's a difficult question, I'll probably have another answer for you in a week. Okay. Thank you very much. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>